good morning everybody good morning all saints the welcome group holding the soul holding the souls on thursday at seven o'clock online um so welcome welcome so at all saints we we take emotional well-being and mental health very seriously we had the emotional uh, needs audit done to see how emotionally healthy the congregation was and uh, we've got now we've got a, a table set in the church with loads of resources to help people with their emotional well-being and emotional needs and I was um, reading this morning from a book by Dr Andrew Powell a psychiatrist reflections essays on life death and beyond and there was some interesting statistics in this uh, in this book which i'll read you all to you all today um depression overall some 25 percent of women and 12 percent of men suffer major depression disorders during their lifetime however people with a spiritual or religious affiliation are up to 40% less likely to get depressed than those who do not have any affiliation. Further, when they do get depressed, they recover faster. Suicides. Adults aged over 50 who have, never, who have never participated in religious activities are four times more likely to die of suicide. Substance abuse. Religious spiritual commitment correlates with lower levels of substance abuse. The risk of alcohol dependency is 60% greater when there is no religious affiliation. In one study of opiate withdrawal, 45% of the participants in a religious orientated program remained drug free at, at one year compared with 5% in a non-religious treatment program. Concerning alcohol abuse, those who seek help from Alcoholics Anonymous, which is spiritually orientated and involves the help of a higher power, are more likely to remain abstinent after inpatient or outpatient treatment. So, living a spiritual life and, develop, and looking at a religious path is helpful for our mind and body and spirit. That's what the statistics say. And this. There's damn lies and there's statistics, but um, regardless of that book, what I've read in other books, um, it's a known fact that living a, a spiritual life is far more beneficial to your mental health than without one. So reflect on that. Reflect on that this morning, that if you're living a spiritual life, you're not immune from the slings and arrows of life but it's helpful when you get into those pits to climb out a bit you can climb out of it easier if you've got that foundation that ladder that you can climb out of these difficult situations the lord be with you and the blessing of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the friendship of his holy spirit be with you now and always Go in deep peace to care for yourself in the love of Christ. Amen.